guys, this is Chidanan from Cracks Infotech NG and I welcome you to this short demo on Jenkins. Jenkins with uh, parameterized jobs. There are a lot of times when you would want a job to be put out. The steps has, that has to be followed on the job um, is all the same. But based upon some parameters, and these are dynamic parameters that can be injected into the job just before it is run. So based upon these parameters, you would want Jenkins to do some specific stuff. Say, for example, uh, one of the things that you can think of um, is, let's say if the job has to deploy some artifacts into a QA server, and the same job with the same set of steps may have to deploy uh, some of the artifacts into a um, UAT server or maybe production server. The URLs for these servers would all be different. So if at all you have a way wherein the steps that has to be followed as a part of the job is all the same, but based upon these parameters, and uh, these parameters would be dynamic parameters that would be injected into the job just before it is run. So based upon these parameters, you would want Jenkins to do some specific stuff. So now this is a very, very um, simple thing for Jenkins. That's what I want to demo. So what I want to do is put up a very, very simple job. I would make it parameterized job and uh, what does this job do? This reaches out to a repository on my GitHub. Uh, it's called branch hello. There's a simple uh, repository, a batch file that is present. There's a hello.batch file. I'm going to shortly show you that repository. There's a simple batch file that is uh, present on this um, repository. But the interesting fact is that this repository has got three different branches. One. And the default branch is master. There's also another branch called RFE, RFE in capitals, and one more branch called defect, all in small. So the same source code, you can visualize that, you know, as per your application, whatever is specific to the features is all in the feature branch, whatever is specific to the defect branch is in defect branch, and whatever is supposed to be in the master or the release branch is in your master repository, I mean, master branch. So this being the scenario, I'm going to put up a job and the job will reference to this particular repository. But based upon the branch that I'm going to specify as a parameter, which will be injected as a choice parameter into my job during the runtime, this repository branch will be automatically picked by Jenkins. And in this case, what I want to do is I want to inject. There are multiple types of parameters that can be injected. The most simplest of one uh, is, is a string parameter. But in my case, what I want to do is I will use something called as a choice parameter. And I will give a name for my choice parameter. And using this particular name, I will show you how to use that within my job and then reach out to uh, the repository and pull in the branch as required or as requested for the uh, dynamic um, injected parameter. I have brought up my Jenkins instance. I've logged into it and uh, let me put up um, job. New item. I will call this uh, maybe dynamic uh, underscore hello. I hope there are no more shops with that name. Um, I'm going to make it as a freestyle project. Uh, okay. All right, in the general section, you would find um, something called as this project is parameterized. This project is parameterized. All right, now if you click out here, it will give you some um, information about what does this parameter mean and all that. Uh, so I know that this is the option that I'm going to try out. We'll come to this part in a bit, but let me just go ahead and tell you all the other parts of how you would put it up in a normal job. So what does my job do? as a part of the source code, it's supposed to go to the GitHub repository. Now let me show you quickly my GitHub repository. Um, this is my GitHub repository. Um, it's a simple repository. There's a batch file here. And most importantly, there are three branches that is there in my repository. Now I'm more interested in, I have only one batch file here, hello.batch, H capital, hello.bat. And um, the content of the batch file, and this is in the master branches, um, branch demo, and uh, I am in master branch. It's got one line. In the second line, it says, you know, I am in master branch because this is the source code pertaining to the master branch. Now, if I look at the same batch file in the RFE, or the enhancements uh, repository, sorry, enhancement branch, it says I am in RFE branch. The name of the batch file is the same, but the content is different. If I look at the uh, defect repository, sorry, what am I saying? Defect branch, 
Um, the first line is same across all the three branches. The second line is specific to the branch that I'm on. All right, and all of them, if you see, it's in the same batch, uh, batch file. Typically, whenever you have a repository, if it's a Java based, it would be a Maven repository. The content of the source files and everything would be as per the branches and based upon whichever branch that you're going to build in. All the content specific to those branches would pres be present in that um, cut of the source code. That's, you know, this uh, batch file is a very, very small depiction of the same thing. All right, so this is my GitHub repository. So what I want to do is I want to pull this Git repository and uh, I will run this uh, batch file. All right, so let me get the GitHub repository URL. So this is the GitHub repository URL. I'm going to pick up the HTTPS URL. Um, so this is the URL of my repository. I really don't have to give any credential because uh, it's a public repository, but nonetheless, I already have the credentials uh, set out here. All right, so that's a repository that I'm going to use. And if you would see, by default, branches to build is always master. So those of you who know Git, master is the default branch that is present in any repository. So that is the reason why you would have automatically master set in. Now we'll come to that in a bit because that is not something that we would need. We would need to modify that. All right, so what should I do if at all, you know, I, I pull this repository in my uh, source step and assuming I pull my master uh, uh, branch, how do I run this job? I have to just run my batch file. So I will just say execute Windows batch command. And for records, I'm on a Windows box, so I'm going to run a batch command. And uh, the name of the file is H capital and uh, hello.bat. This is how I would run this. Um, you know, this is how I would put up my job. All right, so far so good. Now, most importantly, what I want to do is I want some parameters. So this project is parameterized, add parameter. You would find you know, a bunch of parameter things that is there. Uh, there is also, uh, the parameters are so important in Jenkins that you would find a lot of plugins for parameters where you can inject files and so many other, you know, uh, comma separated values and so many other parameters that you can inject in. But these are the default ones that is provided by Jenkins. Uh, so I would use something called as a choice parameter. So I can give any name for my, uh, this is just a name of my uh, parameter um, variable that I'm going to inject in. So let me call this appropriately. So I will call it as branch underscore name. And what are my choices? So what is that, you know, since I said this is a choice parameter, I have to give some choices. So for me, it's very simple because there are three branches. I would have to give the names of these three branches out here. Uh, master, uh, ensure that you do not leave any trailing or, or leading spaces. Master, RFE in capital, and then uh, defect is the other, or, uh, other uh, branch name. All right, so what is the description? Description is nothing but a small ticker that it will show up. So I'll just put in some appropriate message. Please choose the branch that you want to build. This is just a small ticker kind of a message. And I've seen this scenario being uh, used where um, if, you, if you know the um, authorization around Jenkins. Uh, Jenkins is usually managed by QA team or the DevOps team or the service release engineering teams. So they have permissions to put up jobs. Uh, while development guys give uh, are given a second class kind of a treatment here because they will not let development guys usually put up jobs on Jenkins. So it's usually the operations or the QA team which put up these jobs. And when they put up the job, they want to put in all kinds of parameters here so that the development team can use it and run it. Usually development team guys would have permission to run jobs and not really put up jobs. So if they give up a scenario like this, where all the parameters are all you know plugged in and uh, development guys can just go ahead and pick and choose and run something. Like that. That's kind of a use case that you can relate to. All right, so branch name is my parameter name. Uh, these are the uh, values of my parameters and this is just a ticker that shows up. So let me just copy this guy because we'll have to use this uh, name somewhere here. So if you see here, so specify which branch that you would want to build. All right, so I give a special syntax here. It is um, dollar, sorry, dollar flower braces open and close and inside that the value um, or the variable, uh, the injected variable name. That's all I'm supposed to do. Okay, so it's parameterized 
name of the parameter values and some ticker here um, URL of my repository uh, dollar flower braces and uh, the name of the variable that I've injected in and as a part of your execute uh, build step whatever branch file I mean whatever batch file or maven or whatever you want to run as simple as that now let me just go ahead and save this and now if you see I get a different option build with parameters so if I click on that it will not automatically kick in the job because it has to wait for a parameter now the ticker if you remember what we pasted or we put in it shows up here and uh, what is the branch name that you want to choose let me choose a defect branch all right and uh, I would say build now I'm building a code that I mean I'm giving a parameter as a defect branch. So you should go and pull up my repository and the branch should be defect if you see here uh, I am in defect branch because this was what was the content in the the batch file is all the same but it pulled up uh, the content based upon the branch that I chose and the branch that I chose was the defect branch okay so this is what you're seeing let me try uh, once again and show you uh, let me choose a different branch and show you so that we can validate if uh, everything is working correctly so let me choose um, RFE branch this time all right so now this time I should see that in I'm in RFE branch um, kind of an output Yes, I'm in RFE branch. All right. So, as I mentioned before, um, this is a very quick demo for parameterizing uh, your jobs. Very, very useful utility, and um, very, very easily and simply um, uh, used can can be used in Jenkins. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching this uh, video. I hope that you found this uh, informative. If you have any questions uh, or if something doesn't run for you, please uh, feel free to uh, leave in the comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for your time. You guys have a great day.